to me to tell you what I'm really sick about hearing nowadays is the Black Lives Matter people always thinking that some white folks have privilege and stuff like that and the one thing I learned from these people is that what do they want because I have heard a lot of people ask them what exactly do you want white folks to do it was dead silent for at least a few seconds now when it comes to a movement in my eyes if somebody were to ask me about why I'm voting for Donald Trump, I can give them multiple reasons why. I'm like, well, Donald Trump doesn't want a lot of illegal immigrants coming into this country. He said he's going to deport them, which is understandable because this year alone we had too many of them. So when I join a movement, I'm going to know what that movement is about. The Black Lives Matter movement isn't really about anything. It's pretty much about some black kids being racist. I've been seeing people hold up Black Lives Matter signs all the fucking time, and yet I bet they don't even know what it means. But when a person says all lives matter, they say, oh, this is being racist. And I'm like, They're, you're not including the black community. And I'm like, when they say all lives matter, that means black, white, Latinos, Chinese, Japanese, everybody lives matter. <clears throat> and the one thing I see when it comes to the Black Lives Matter movement is that it was pretty much created from a white cop killing a black a black kid and then they taking this to the ultimate extreme like anytime you see a white cop kill a black person they go to the extreme and saying that oh this person's racist the, the law is racist and all this other stuff and they say all this other crap I'm like no you're saying that this person has white privilege something that no white person has nor any black person has no anybody has no one has privilege Truth be told, they want to say a person has white privilege so they can end the argument because they don't have anything to say. That's really it. I mean, if I hear a person say, oh, you have white privilege, I'm like, what do I, what can I do that you can't do? I guarantee you none of them would say anything. They're going to say, oh, you can get a job. Either then I can, well, you can get a job too if you apply for it or go for the hard work or anything, but you don't want to do that. So that's not white privilege. That's just me wanting to do the work and you just, just trying to say somebody's racist because of the skin their skin color. And the one thing is that you say, oh, learn your history, learn your history. I'm like, you do realize that when it comes to slavery, a white man actually freed the slaves, which is Abraham Lincoln, you motherfucking assholes. And then they want to say, oh, we want to get safe spaces. You want me to tell you what safe spaces actually is, that what they want? They want safe spaces so this way, anybody who argues and pretty much, how would you say, disagrees with them, they can shut them down by saying, oh, I want to go to my safe space. I'm like, in reality, in the world that we live in right now, you have there is no such thing as safe space except inside your head. I said this multiple times. And they constantly say they want safe space because, oh, people outside of my bubble, pretty much they offend me. I'm like, that's how colleges is. Colleges are going to challenge you. If you say that you like this person or you like this certain thing, they're going to ask why. And somebody may say, oh, I just like them because of this and that, this and this and this reason. Kind of like how my family is. They believe in Hillary Clinton. They don't want to vote for Donald Trump. I'm like, well, I do because I have reasons. And they want to bring out false reasons because they hear on TV all the time, on the media. And I'm like, well, you do realize that this is false because you didn't hear anything about Hillary Clinton. But yet there's clearly a lot of shit going on with her. But the one thing is, I'm like, you want to tell me that white folks have white privilege. And I don't even believe this is a white man. Honestly, I see black kids do so many stupid ass things. They get them in trouble multiple times at a time, and they want to saying, "Oh, it's because I'm black. Oh, it's because of uh, stereotype." I'm like, here's the thought: just stop doing it. They can't stereotype you if you just don't do it. They say that black kids are more likely to get murdered when they're in their twenties. Well, if you stop hanging around the streets, then maybe you won't have that chance of getting murdered, you jackasses. I mean, when you sell drugs, I guarantee you this. The streets aren't going to be happy to you. Guarantee you, you're going to want that sacrifice. And guess what? It may take a few days, a few weeks, a few months, a few years, but eventually your number will be called because you know how drug dealers are. They're stupid to sell, but my digress. When it comes to police brutality, pretty much it's not really that high. I can admit it happens. I can admit it does happen. And even I get a little pissed off by it. But um, when I be seeing people say on the news, say, oh, they said they had their hands up. I'm like, you do realize that they were walking toward their car and they kept saying freeze. They said freeze, 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 freeze. How many times do I got to say freeze for you to actually stop? And you keep holding your hand up. You keep walking like, 
Yeah, that person's gonna try to shoot you because this person doesn't know what you have. I mean, you're pulling out something like this, they're gonna start shooting at you. They don't know what that is. And some people say, oh, this person didn't have a gun on them. I'm like, well, you shouldn't hold your hand like this. You're holding your hand like this with something in your hand, they're gonna assume it's a gun. And they're not gonna give you a chance to shoot it because, hey, they may have bulletproof vest, somebody it doesn't protect the head, dumbasses. That's why they're gonna shoot you. And I know a lot of people who see this video are gonna say, oh, you just, that's an Uncle Tom. I'm like, I don't give a fuck what you think of me. I don't care if I'm an Uncle Tom. Hell, at least I'm the one who's speaking common sense here, you jackasses. I, I speak common sense. That's something that you can't learn in schools nowadays, which they really should teach you in school. But I guess life is a little bit difficult, just like they don't. That's why they want these safe spaces. But guess what? When you get out of that college and you go into having this world like the rest of us are, you have no chance. There's no safe spaces. Then they said, oh, white people, they actually get paid to go to college. I'm like, no. They have to pay intuition just like you do. Some of them get into debt just like you do. Just because you're black and this person's white doesn't mean that their life is any different. The only difference is that their skin color. I mean, scientists have actually proven this countless times. If you were to look at the skeletal system, if you were to look at the muscular system, if you were to look at anything besides the skin color, you would notice that there's nothing really different about us. The only difference is, well, our skin color and the way we act. I guess in our environments too, but you know there are some white folks in black neighborhoods and there are some black folks in white suburban neighborhoods. And they can say, oh, the system is screwing us over, man. It's the system. I'm like, you do realize that we have a black president right now, so you, your argument is moot. A black man is actually president, which is known as Barack Obama, which honestly, I'm starting to get a little annoyed at him, but hey, that's, that's me. But truth be told, when it comes to these college kids, it seems like they just want everything handed to them. Definitely the black community. I don't know what it is. Now, I understand that I'm black, but hell, I'm not like those jackasses. Because guess what? I'm not the kind of guy who wants a handout. I'm not going to say, oh, uh, you're being racist because uh, you disagree with me. Like, no. I'm just going to say, well, I'm going to give you the reason that I like it. And I give you the reason I don't. If you have a different opinion, that's your choice. That's how argument works. That's how debate works. I'm not going to say, oh, I need a safe space. Why would I need a safe space for? I know the whole world is not safe. Nothing, nothing is to stop somebody from me walking out that door and somebody to come right here and actually doing a drive-by and shooting my ass and killing me dead right then and there. There's nothing stopping anybody from doing that. But do I take that risk? Yes, I take that risk every single day I go to the library, go to my friend's house, go outside. But yet, I care. I do not care about somebody having a safe space. And then some kids... Be saying all these white supremacy and stuff like that. Now, I honestly have no idea what that even means. What when they say white supremacy. I'm guessing they say white dominance, I guess. These white kids aren't trying to dominate them. And then you're saying that, oh, the people saying, that, oh, I'm, they want to treat me different because of my skin color. No, they're not treating you different because of your skin color. Because you may have done something that made them treat you differently. If you've done something, like you've gotten in trouble, of course the professors are going to see you differently because you, you don't know who they got to keep an eye on. Common sense will tell you that. If you, if you go to jail multiple times for the same exact crime and the police see that you're in that exact same neighborhood, they're going to be having their eye on you just in case either you go back to the person you actually in trouble so they can get them too, or they, may just, they just may look on you just in case to see what's going to happen. Just in case to see if you go back to old habits. Because half the time they do. Which is quite stupid in my opinion. I don't know why the hell they do that. But honestly when it comes to these college kids. I honestly like. You blow my mind. You simply blow my mind. When it comes to these stupid type of movements that you have. And they keep saying oh. These kids they, they're nice kids. And I'm like they're destroying things. They're looting. Probably trying to kill someone. Attacking people. Hell that's actually a black kid who died. By another protester, which is actually quite surprising. And they said, and the media said, oh, this is a peaceful protest. I've seen people hugging. I'm like, yeah, you've seen a little bit of the people hugging. You didn't see the whole thing. You didn't see them burning cars and breaking into buildings, looting things, and robbing cash registers. You didn't see, you ain't want to show them that because you know that if you go toward that area, your ass is going to be in trouble. That's the one thing that the media doesn't want to show you. That's why I always go to InfoWars and shit like that. That's why I always get my information from because I know that when it comes to the news, it's biased. The only time I watch the news is for the weather, mainly. That's really the only time I'll actually watch the news nowadays. And cause truth be told, I'll be listening to my earphones like, eh, as soon as I do this, so I see the news that they say, play, listen to me some Guns N' Roses or something. That's what I mainly listen to. And these people just want to say, oh, these kids aren't bad. Hell, they are bad. 
they want to say, oh, cop, police brutality. Hell, police brutality isn't even a big deal, right? big thing right now. Sure, it's an academic that's keep on happening, but it's not as big as black-on-black -black crime. You want to make a movement for kids dying by other cops, even though it's a black cop killing another black man, but yet you don't say anything when another per black man killing another black man for no apparent reason, just for some shoes over somebody saying, oh, you let them my girls. And I'm like, oh, I don't know nothing. I ain't seen them. I'm like, so you're telling me that you want to actually not help somebody find someone who killed your your boy or family members but yet when the cops kill someone you want to destroy the whole neighborhood and we and we wonder why cops stereotype black folks it's because they do the most stupidest thing and I'm not, I'm not saying all black folks are like this let me get you correct I would say only the dumb ones do this you want to create a movement because of what cops do and you don't want to take the responsibility of what you do yourself. Because I know if I were to hang around any place that I know of, and I'll have all lives matter, they're going to say I'm racist because that's excluding black lives. I'm like, that means the exact same thing. When they say all lives matter, it, didn't go, it does include you. When, and they keep saying, oh, we divided from each other. I'm like, you divide yourself. You're not including yourself in this matter. You're saying that white folks don't include you in the world nowadays, I'm like, when you say black lives matter, you're saying that only your life matters. And that's wrong. Because I have a, I don't have that many white friends, but I do have some white friends. Probably like two or three. And yet, I treat them with respect just like they treat me with respect. But that's all it is, it's respect. But these kids don't know respect. That's how it goes when it comes to black lives matter movement and these pussies who he's saying something about safe spaces. No safe spaces for me or for anybody on this planet. When you grow up and you get out there high school, and even if you do go to college or not, as soon as you get in that real world, nobody's going to care about your feelings. Unless you're a suicide victim or something like that. That's really the only time. But that's all i got to say for now. I will see you guys another time. Peace.